what's going on YouTube? I know it's been a minute, but guess what? And it's not been a minute because of me. It's been a minute cuz favorite. Yes, Woody is back out the shop, ready to go. New shoes. Check it out, check it out, check it out. My favorite. Shout out to the OG for getting Woody right. Try to tell him, but anyway. <laughs> try to tell him, but I guess he he feel finally got the picture, I guess. But we here to go ahead and drop off these cable rails real quick. We're out in you know, Odessa, Texas right now. We don't have a load, man. We don't have a load. I've been calling all these loads, but you already know how these brokers and stuff are. They're absolute sharks. I got a little bit of a leak. I'm going to check that out. But got a little bit of some sharks, but it is what it is. We will find something. Something always pops up for your boy. But y'all get ready for the week at hand and see what your boy can find next. All right, what's going on, YouTube fam, man? It's a little loud, so I'm going to walk to the back of the trailer. But we are, yes, you can see Woody in the background, like I showed you guys earlier. Um, but we have no load, and that is not by choice. That is by necessity because we have to go to the shop. We made it all the way to Odessa, dropped the load, found out I was losing coolant, and uh, we got a, we got a slight, just a, just a hair, not, and definitely not a hair. We have a major coolant leak in this truck. Y'all come check it out. Oh, I showed y'all, but that, that's the new shoes what he got. You know what I'm saying? We gotta love some KO2s. We was running well, but a whole bunch of codes popped up. Massive. Massive, massive coolant leak. Now, it's coming from the passenger side, but when was the driver's side? I mean, it's running everywhere. So hopefully it's just the water pump and it's a quick in and out. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and run into the shop that's around the corner and uh, get it diagnosed. There's a thousand shops over here in Odessa, Texas, but you know, half of them work only on semis. So ultimately I uh, found this one that was actually pretty popular said to get me in this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this trailer and uh, go ahead and get to this shop and then see what's going on with Woody, man. My truck is still, the reason why I got, you know, I mean Woody actually is because my truck had a cooler leak and it had some vibration um, and basically the drive line of the truck. So that truck is in the shop getting worked on as well back home. And I decided to take Woody for out for probably about a week until my truck got done. And, um, but we didn't make it back. So now we gotta deal with this truck. You already know how it is, it's part of the game. But anyway, let me go ahead and get to dropping this trailer and um, so let's see what, this, see what this day got for your boy. Transmission getting put in and out, and I know that 
because I had that done. And if I, over five thousand dollars, like five thousand and some change, is absurd for getting a water pump put up, like you know done. But that's, you have to take out so much stuff. I mean, they're acting like this is like I don't know some major work. It's, it's pretty crazy to take a motor in and out. They charge about two three grand. So five thousand dollars for a water pump. That's crazy. Now, don't get me wrong, when I went into the shop, they had crazy nice customer service. The shop was really nice. They was giving out free stuff. They gave out a free ride wherever you had to go, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, dang, they must be making a lot of money. I see why they're making a lot of money. It's because they get getting over on some people. These, those, those nice looking shops, you gotta be aware. You know what I'm saying? Those super clean ones, with all the gadgets and gadgets. I've start. I done been to about three of them, and every single one has done a little bit of shady stuff. You know what I'm saying? I've been to one out in, uh, Wyoming. I've been to one in Georgia where I'm from, which is why it's hard for us to find mechanics in Georgia, good mechanics in Georgia. And now I've been to one in Texas. That's a little shaky, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, they had all the good reviews, two of the summer reviews, yada, yada, yada. Everybody said great work, yada. I believe they do probably do good, good work. You know, and that may be the case, but they are charging the most for the work. 15 hour job for a water pump, 15 hours? That's crazy. And this dude knows for a fact he can get it done in a few hours. And it's already been done in a couple of hours. It don't take that long. Anyway, I shout me out, like I said, y'all y'all have seen, um, uh, what is it called? The, full, the breakdown of what they were trying to charge me, and it's pretty crazy. So I just want y'all to know, y'all gotta be aware of the shops you go to out here, man, because these people rake you over and not even care. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it is what it is. It's life. It's the world that we live in today. You gotta stay on your P's and Q's. What's going on, Hot Shop fam? You see we dumped the cooling, got the radiator out. Yes, it's a little beat up, it looked like. Um, I don't think this thing has ever even been replaced, but we'll go ahead and replace that at some point soon. Uh, you know, once I get back home with the truck and uh, pick up my truck and everything and then put this one, well, to be honest, I might do it myself, you know what I'm saying? Just because now that I'm out here one time, I'll do it again. So, all that stuff is out. And this is how tight this motor is, man. It is pretty crazy. So, the mechanic that's helping me out, man, he went to get a tool to get this actual fan clutch off because we couldn't get it off with none of our tools so i'm definitely going to get you know more of a specific you know tool for this truck and they actually have one in stock so he going to take a break going to get that once we pop off this fan clutch the uh water pump should be pretty easy take off the well take off the belt take off the water pump boom throw it back on there with the new one put everything back together and should start her up make sure everything good not throwing no no new codes not any that i'm already seeing I know this far too well. Unfortunately, we're at the Midland Airport. Boys getting a rental car. All right, your boy just copped the whip. Got a brand new whip. Hot shot with me. Look how he living, man. We done moved out to Midland, Texas. We done got us a new whip. We, we doing big things. We doing new things. I'm just playing, but this is my rental car. Got to go back to the truck, get my stuff, because we are actually headed, um, what is it? We are actually headed back to Georgia to wait on my other truck so I can come back over here and grab Woody and take it to the shop. Like I say, I mean, it is what it is. God is good. Yes, it's kind of crazy. I feel like if y'all go a couple videos back, you know, this just happened and I was in Colorado City, which is like a little bit of a ways from Midland, but I was still in this area trying to get a rental car, coming to this airport. I mean, I stay at this airport, it seemed like. <laughs> but anyway, I was out with me, y'all, man. I'm gonna get to this drive. Y'all stay blessed. Keep God first, man. It's all good, man. The boy's not tripping, not worried. Yes, we got some money. The joke cost me $1,500 yesterday, but it's better than that $5,700. And it is what it is, man. It's part of the game. But anyway, I shout me out, man. Y'all stay tuned. Peace. What's going on, YouTube, man? Your boy's not for his first load check. We gotta check the equipment out. Man, these are these freaking rental cars, man, they do not take care of, but you gotta treat them like you treat a truck. You know, when you get in the trucking industry, I guess, I don't, I don't know if every truck driver will tell you, but any real truck driver will let you know, you start treating every single vehicle like, you start treating every vehicle like it's, but like you gotta do the most. You, know, you gotta check the oil, check the cooling, which everybody should be doing, technically. You know, I had to check the tire pressure, tire pressure was all, they match which ways, you know what I'm saying? Some was like 25 PSI, some was 45, some was 35. I'm like, that's crazy, I need all that done to match. You gotta pop the hood, you know what I mean? That's what I just did. Let's see. Let's see if we can. I don't know nothing about this car. Darn. 
I definitely don't know the whole darn thing I fell off. But I guarantee you it go right here. That is really weird. Instead of going up there, go down here. That's really crazy, but yeah, man. It's a really dusty motor. This John looking, looking awful. Not taken care of at all. Gotta check some of these fluids out. Look at it, the windshield wiper fluid a little low. So I know if I, you know, get into a little situation, I'm gonna have to stop and get some for some rain here. This ain't even on, right? That's dangerous. Gotta get that on, right? Okay, we got some, like, some power steering fluid, or brake, brake fluid, whatever it is. And uh, that's, that's pretty full. Where's the cooling at? That's what I really wanna see. I can't even find a darn cooling reservoir. What is this? Oh, that's what it is. I miss, I miss saw it, I miss saw it. The washer fluid right here, this is my coolant. And your boy is low on coolant, but it does take that Asian pink. We do have a Highlander at the house, and um, we do have a Highlander at the house and it takes pink, so that don't need to get filled up, because I don't like this coolant being this low like that. We're, 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 at the, we're at the low line. Your boy's not gonna fill it up, because it ain't that low, but it's something, to, something definitely to know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, that's what I meant to do. I meant to check the oil. But like I said, this is what you gotta do when you, or this is what you start doing when you become a real trucker, man. Most people aren't real truckers, real truckers these days. They don't be checking stuff out, looking at stuff, making sure everything is Gucci before they hit the road. They just start hitting the road. I already filled up the air. I already filled up the air in this truck, so that was the, I mean, this car, that's the first thing that we did. Uh, but we gotta get right being on the road, man. Got to make it back to Georgia so we can make back to Texas to get Woody. I don't know, something about Woody just love Midland. I think Woody wants to move to Midland, Texas for some strange reason. Midland, Colorado City, Odessa area. Seem like Woody, that's where Woody want to be because Woody keep breaking down over there. You know what I mean? But I can't even find my darn rag. I know I got one in the truck. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and check this car real quick. Let's see where we at. Make sure your boy can get it because this is a long drive, man. This, this is a 16-hour drive. You can't be out here slipping, you feel me? Especially when you know better. When you know better, you got to do better. Definitely got to do better. Take one of these rags. Check it out. Fitted Camry ever. I got everything. Everything. Nobody got a Camry out. Nobody got a Camry out here like this, you know what I'm saying? Not this prepared. Put this phone down, check the oil real quick. Can't be out here sticking. Our first glance, the oil is, has a fresh oil change. Our first glance. Joker real looking real light. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And the oil level is full. Heck yeah. Check it out. We got a full oil level right now. I don't know if it's gonna zoom in, right? But we Gucci. So, your boy's ready to roll. Like I said, cooling a little low. I could be nice and top it off for, for enterprise rentals. Make myself feel better, make my ride feel better, you feel me? But, I don't know, it just kind of depends on how I feel. Maybe I'll top it off, you know, before I ride into the night, because I definitely don't want to deal with any issues. That's what I was supposed to go. Whoever had it last did not clamp it down right. In fact, Joker don't clamp it down. There we go. Yeah, they didn't clamp it down right. But I just got, I just got them right. I put the, put the thing, thing back on the power thing, thing back in the clamp like it's supposed to be. I might fill up the coolant, and uh, if anything, maybe just get some distilled water and top it off. Not too crazy. And boom, ready to roll. We know what we're working with. So if anything goes left, we know where to look. And that's something you gotta, you gotta do, man, with every single vehicle, every trip, man. When you're a real trucker, when you're a real car fan, you know anything could go left at any point. You gotta know your car, know your vehicle. I already know this vehicle. I know this vehicle probably better than the last, last person who this vehicle. Hop in the car. Ugh. Close the door. This car is so quiet, I don't even know if this joker's on. We are on, which is really weird. Let's take off. Hot shot with me out. Let's get it. We are on our way back to Georgia 
to again pick up my truck to come back and get Woody out of Texas again. This is like round two of this. You cannot make this up. You can definitely not make this up. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know. I might have to change my name on YouTube. We might have to start calling this breakdown with me instead of hot shot with me. Cause this junk is crazy. crazy. You cannot make this up. I guess, I don't know what it is. I was talking to my wife earlier. You know, she was kind of down about the whole situation, but at this point, it's happened so many times and so much. I'm just like, whatever. Like, I'm not upset about it. I'm cooling. I mean, yeah, it sucks having to, like, get your truck back. You know, you do everything you can to fix it. And some stuff happened. And stuff has to start happening back to back. You know, after, you know, a couple months being on the road, you finally get above water and get clear. You know, ready to finally profit, profit. And then, boom, that truck down. Then, as you know, you get in the backup truck. Wait till that truck get out of the shop. Boom, only one run. Truck down. I got two trucks down. We got two trucks down now. In the fleet. Two out of three. OG out here getting. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to you. But um, it is what it is, man. Like honestly, all I can do is thank God in the situation because He's made me so much stronger as a person than I used to be throughout all these types of you know situations. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Y'all probably look at my page right, like, bro. This guy again. <laughs> really be doing the most like in a good way you know what I mean I really be doing the most but it just is what it is man it's my path it's my life I don't exactly know what I feel like God's trying to show me in this but I'm just one of them ones man I'm just one of them ones that you know what they say you know you can't he's not gonna put you anything that you can't handle and clearly I can handle a lot because we just out here like feeling like Job in this situation you're saying not as bad but <laughs> We out here, we out here, you know I mean? we out here, and somehow, you know, God make us do it, get us another side, but shoot, it's starting to get to the point, like, sure, maybe, I don't even know, maybe we gotta, we gotta start looking at other avenues. Anyway, I'm gonna get to my drive, sorry for the rant, I just had to, you know, say that, I showed me out, about the rain on your boy, uh, but it's all good, alright, y'all take it easy, man, stay blessed, peace. Finally loaded after like a week and a day. Got this 5,000 pounds of aluminum load, whatever the case may be. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Let's step away from the truck real quick. This, this is walking a little bit. Now, when I pulled up in the Grange, my wife been telling me about these darn bugs around here. If you just listen, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but I put up when I first pulled into the Grange, you know, that's where we at right now. I thought it was my turbo. I was like, why is my turbo making this crazy screeching sound? You know what I mean? Man, check this. The heck to the knob, bro. No. Y'all see that big old, oh my God, they flying at me. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it, bro. <laughs> These things fly. Heck to the knob. So bug, bro. Ain't no way. These cicadas are something serious. I was going to get down on the ground and start uh, working on my truck. But I don't know, bruh. I might have to just say that for one little time. I mean, look at the front of my truck, man. One out of eight. Oh, my goodness. That thing is massive. Massive. Nah, bruh. Nah, I don't know if y'all see these things, but these things are not for me. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're not for me. I got to go. I'm going to drop this trailer, and that'll be that. Anyway, hot shot me out. Pray for your boy. Uh, these cicadas and them things are something serious, man. I literally had to pimp slap one of them because it was coming straight at me. And I hopped back in the truck and took off. Took off one of my after I dropped that trailer. But I would need to change. I, my plan was to change out my shocks 
and my uh, steering steering deck, you know, when I got back. But we gotta see what the situation is when we get home, because you know, your boy gotta work outside and do that stuff. I do not have a garage right now, but I will get one. Needless to say, man, I don't know about them things, man. I, I really don't. I'm trying to run them all, run them all over my truck. Anything that's coming in my path, man. Y'all about to get random. I mean, they dead on the ground, crawling and junk. Man, they, them things are some serious. They, they, they are some serious and they're massive and they keep this like they're dumb. They just keep running into stuff. I hate dumb. That's why I hate flies and I now hate these things because they just stupid. Like you now see this big old mass moving. Move out the way. Why are you trying to run into it? Why are you trying to run into me? Go about your day. You live your life. I'm going to live mine happily ever after. Don't be running into people like dead flying straight at you for what? For what? Cicadas need to get a life. Go back up. Go back on the ground. And things are not it. Oh wait, man. I gotta figure out uh, a, a cicada repellent to put around the crib and put around my truck while I'm working on it. But anyway, we gonna get to this and we gonna uh, we gonna hang out for the house for the night and then like it is like a Tuesday right now, something like that. And I'm gonna pick the load up early in the morning because you know going through Atlanta, I'm not really trying to like deal with that traffic this afternoon. So I only had a couple hours left and then it's just going to North Carolina. So I'll be able to drive in the morning, no traffic, no nothing. And uh, get where I got to go and uh, not have to idle. But anyway, hot show me out, man. Y'all stay tuned. Peace.